Following the Kerbal Polar Expedition 2, I was joined by Enterothesium and Chicken Keeper in DMP, which is short for Dark Multiplayer, the current, best and only, I think, multiplayer mod for Kerbal Space Program. Here are some first impressions of it, which I thought, you know, may be a bit useful, might not be. This isn't a review because it's a mod and that would just be really silly, especially considering that this mod is very much in development. But it has come on a long way, especially in comparison to KMB, its predecessor. Pre predecessor. Pre pre it's the original version of this mod. And, as you can see, it allows you to take control of craft alongside other people in the same persistent universe. It really is quite impressive. So, I was joined by Ezra the Human Chicken Keeper and we tested out a few different modes of transport. Planes, rockets... Well, planes... Uh, what was it? Cars, planes and automobiles, no. Planes, rockets and buggies were the three that we tried, rockets being both in atmosphere and in orbit, but hey, you'll see the footage of that shortly. So planes, flying around planes, as you can see, it's pretty jittery, but it works. It, it does give you the sense that you are there with another player, rather than, you know, it's an image of them briefly being shown on your screen. You really can fly in formation with other people, albeit a little jitterily. And j jitterly, is that a word? Whatever. And also, this. Now, on our screen, on my screen, my perspective, it looks like we've crashed with their plane. In fact, that was Enter Elysium, if I remember correctly. And yet, on Enter Elysium's screen, we discussed afterwards, immediately after the crash, he just carried on flying. And what happened was that a identical version of his plane was spawned, which crashed with me. So he kept on flying his plane and controlling it, and then what we saw as debris was actually a copy of his plane. And of course my plane took damage as well. So the crashing into other players isn't particularly reliable, and as a result of the planes perhaps aren't quite so polished yet. I mean it's all the same system obviously, but when you use it with space planes together, it's not perfect, as you wouldn't expect it to be. In comparison, rockets rockets function a lot better, especially in atmosphere like this. We tried a lot of uh, a lot of simultaneous takeoffs together, and it, things didn't go quite so well. If you try and launch at the same time, you're fine because you have this safety bubble area surrounding both the runway and the launch pad. But a few seconds after takeoff, you leave that bubble, and suddenly you're in the same universe as everyone else, and oh god, you've crashed. So it took us a few attempts to get flying without crashing into each other, but we found that if we waited 10 seconds after someone had launched, we were pretty much okay, depending on the speed of their rocket, of course. And here we are, albeit with some jumping around, as is evident from what we just saw there, things are pretty stable and you can fly together and fly in, in real time. It's just like the rockets really are there in your game. And in fact, as you saw the rocket below me come very close and then somehow disappear. Chicken Keeper was talking afterwards about this fantastic moment where he was about to crash into me and he had to actually steer out of the way. There's a sense of presence there that you can only get in a mod like this. You can only get by having it stable enough to give you the impression that the rockets really are being flown by other players in real time and that there's very little delay. So out of the three methods of transport, rockets easily come first as the most practical, the the thing that if you want and are expecting a good multiplayer experience from this mod, rockets come top of the list for what I'd recommend you to do. Especially in orbit, because once you take the atmosphere as the equation, you've just got orbital, uh, the, the, the vacuum to deal with, which really isn't that hard for the code, it seems, or no matter what the reason may be, the result is that it's certainly more stable. Here I am after having spent 10 minutes trying to rendezvous with Chicken Keeper, and I just pull in close, set my relative velocity to 0 meters per second using my RCS systems, which is redundant because it's a reaction control system systems. Um, yeah, using RCS I bring it down to 0 and it does stay at 0. We both get our Kerbals out and we can actually high-five in space, which is Again, again, with Kerbal, it's, it's fantastic. 
Now you do see the ship move there, and I was like, oh, you're drifting away from me, but no, there it is, again, stationary. Zero meters per second relative velocity, and it stays like that until a rocket hits it. So it's stable. This mod is stable, which is remarkable, or miracle, depending on whether you know me and me saying that. It is remarkably stable. Hence why Elysium, Chicken Keeper and I are going to do a multiplayer series, because we think it's stable enough for entertainment, and we certainly did enjoy and were, we were entertained by our time with DMP. So, I think it's going to work. I think we're going to start multiple series, we're going to do some stuff, build a space station, simultaneous moon landings, driving buggies on Juno perhaps. Although the buggies are the worst experience we had, which is what I'll come to now. Uh, but you do have that series to look forward to. The buggies, the buggies, the buggies didn't really work. I think it's the whole collision problem. I put this bumper on the front of mine and I was hoping to go and ram my friends around, which in hindsight, probably isn't the best way to word things, but whatever the case, I was hoping to get some some good buggy action, but we didn't really get that experience. Now there is two there is there is two explanations for this. One is that this was peak time for the public server we were using, in that a lot of people started logging on at this time, which put a lot more stress on the server, and as a result, things probably were a bit more glitchy than they may have been if we were on a private server, which we are hopefully going to set up. Uh, but whatever the case, we had the multiplication clone thing again where I hit Chicken Keeper and a clone of him was spawned which was destroyed and damaged by the impact, but then he carried on driving as usual. Which is a shame because what we really want to do and what we started off with the idea of doing was dogfights. You can run mods on this server, you can get your own DMP server, you can put MechJeb on it, you can put... Uh, all your resource mods, all your weapons mods, and you can actually get them to work, which again, counts as a plus for this mod. Um, but in terms of how, or at least the based on the experience we had with buggies right now, I wouldn't do it if you are intending to try and race with the buggies or whatever. Although then again, racing doesn't really involve the collisions, and it's mainly the collisions that I'm criticizing. Uh, but <laughs> it does look nice, at least. At any rate, it looks nice. So here you go, here was my first impressions of DMB. It is remarkably good. For a game that's not built with multiplayer in mind, and even for, yeah, for a mod, to change a game that's not built with multiplayer in mind into something that is this stable is on par with, say, the Just Cause 2 mod. And that had been in develop for, development for ages. So really, DMP, I think, now is actually in a playable state for the first time. I've been keeping an eye on it, but now it's actually playable. And so I'm going to be playing it with Elysium and Chicken Keeper, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.